Our lab has done a lot of work on the fluidic soft control schemes for soft robotic systems. In this case, Coulter had been working on that in our lab, so he already had uh, the background knowledge and experience, but actually went to a summer research program at Harvard University, uh, where he worked in the lab of George Whitesides and essentially initiated the system architecture that then he brought back to Rice University, wrapped up the project in the form of this collaboration, and developed the work that we see here. It's part of the beauty of this system is that we're really able to reduce computation down into their base components. And people have been doing research on these electronic systems for years and years and years. So as soon as you're able to recreate those same electronic components with analogs to pressure and flow rate instead of voltage and current, you can build up the same computation using that existing research that we have for, for years. The three main demonstrations our products that we made with these valves were one, an untethered robot, so it was completely electronics free, but a user could program the amount of steps that it takes before it moves forward and grabs something and then returns to the user. So we see use cases in environments that traditional robots may not succeed, so high radiation, high mag magnetic fields, or combustible environments. The second thing we made was an analog glove for improved human-robot interactions. And so in the paper, we demonstrate a human user controlling a robotic hand just with the motions of their fingers and doing so in a continuous fashion. But you could replace that robotic hand with any existing soft device for an easy way for humans to control robots. And then the final thing that we made was a prototype of a cushion matrix designed for use on hospital beds, which is a really good use case because most hospital rooms come equipped with a pressure source. And this cushion matrix is designed to help maneuver patients, roll patients, lift head or feet, or um, oscillate patients to stimulate muscles that may not be being used. The undergraduates at Rice are truly top notch and Coulter in his case actually has risen to essentially what I would say the level of a PhD student in terms of some of his output as an undergraduate researcher.